Another simple shot pro tip for you, and it again refers to bands. So here's another problem that we see our customers encountering on occasion. And um, we figured it best to make a video on it, make it more clear. So when you get your bands, you have to tune them to your draw length, of course, by figuring out your active band length, which you can refer in other videos. And we had a customer call us and say, I have a 30 inch draw. So we instructed them that that would be six to six and a half inches, depending on how their bands were set up and what slingshot they were shooting on. In this instance, they were shooting a scalp, which only requires about a half inch of extra rubber beyond your active band length. So he wanted to shoot 500% elongation. He should have had bands that were six inches long. And indeed, when he sent the bands back to us, they were six inches long. If you measure from the end of the pouch to the end of the bands, actually they were six and a half inches. He cut them exactly precisely as we told him. However, he did not measure from the correct uh, position. So you're measuring the rubber in the system. The leather doesn't stretch, only the rubber. So when you're determining your active band length, make sure it's the length of the active rubber, the rubber that is actually working in the system. So where it attaches at the pouch, it stops working there. And where it attaches at the slingshot, it stops working there. Everything in between is your active band length. So when you get a number for six inches of active band length, say, it's not six inches from here to here, it's six inches from here to here. So understanding how your slingshot works is going to make it a lot more fun and we encourage questions. So thanks for watching and feel free to comment.